on these glasses, and you'll enter the world of the game. Sponsoring today's video, we have VIP GVG Mall, an official platform selling games for several PC launchers, consoles, and of course, Microsoft serial keys like the Office 2019 or the most common Windows 10 Pro, where you can use my SKG discount code and enjoy 20% off, making it only $14. After getting the key, you'll have the key in your profile and all you need to do is go to your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a video about the new adrenaline drivers, in this case the AMD 21.10.2 and as I say in all my videos, 21 is the year, 2021. 10 is the month, October, and 2 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of October. You're welcome. Now, these drivers are the second ones coming as optional for Windows 11, so the first one was actually the 21.10.1, the previous to this one, and now we have the 21.10.2 as the second driver officially released for Windows 11, okay? still optional and not recommended so we we still don't have any recommended driver for windows 11 so optional okay let's start with the release notes as for the release notes we have support for back for blood that is now official officially released instead of being in beta and the rift breaker also officially released now also the rift breaker is an excellent game i played it on the beta version and it is really really good it has amazing physics it has awesome graphics, it has ray tracing that actually won't make your, your computer uh, run like crap. So uh, it has all of it and the gameplay is pretty amazing in terms of strategy and in terms of story as well. And gameplay overall, so yeah. So let's go to the fixed issues. As for the fixed issues, we have some more like for example the driver timeouts or black screens may be experienced while playing Assassin's Creed Origins on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 580. Some users may experience a game freeze when they attempt to launch Dota 2 sorry, using OpenGL. So people trying to use OpenGL, God knows why, but people trying to use OpenGL on Dota 2 have this problem fixed now. It makes no sense because if you're using Windows just go and use the, the DirectX 12. Uh, DirectX 11, I don't think that game has DirectX 12, so the X11. And if you're using Linux, just go and use Vulkan. It makes no sense to use OpenGL, but still, the problem is fixed. The last one is Open Broadcaster software may continue to run in the background after a user ends recording sessions and closes the application. So, even when you close the application in some scenarios, the, uh, the OBS, the Open, or the open Broadcaster software, will still continue to, to record in the background or, or will still be in the background uh, causing your computer to have an excessive load while it shouldn't happening, okay? Shouldn't be happening, sorry. Uh, so yeah, basically another fix. Now let's go to the known issues. The first known issue is some users may experience elevated memory consumption by multimedia Athena Dumps folder. Uh, in Radeon software, the CPU tuning feature may be missing for some users with AMD processors such as the Ryzen 9 5950X. So yeah, basically this is not just for this processor because I heard people, lots of people actually in the comment section telling me that they couldn't see their processor in the um, in the Radeon software. Some of them have had older processors that uh, the Radeon software uh, isn't still prepared to read. That's okay, but for people having at least a 5000 series, the processors have to appear in the software. If they don't, it is a bug and AMD is failing in here, so they still uh, at least they acknowledge the um, they have knowledge of the um, of the problem since it is in the known issues, so they will fix it as soon as they can. AMD Radeon software may crash or become unresponsive while playing some DirectX 11 games, such as Player Unknown's Battlegrounds with multiple displays connected in extended mode. Basically, this is a very very specific uh, specific bug or a specific issue. Uh, which is basically when people playing um, PUBG using DirectX 11 and they are using the extended mode 
multiple displays in extended mode they want the game to appear in all displays they still have this problem and it will persist maybe try using the DirectX 11 enhanced or the DirectX 12 option in PUBG that may fix it or may not fix it but it's worth a shot Enhanced sync may cause a black screen to occur when enabled on some games and system configurations. Any users who may be experiencing issues with enhanced sync should disable it as a temporary workaround. Enhanced sync almost two years after and this problem is still in the known issues and hasn't, be fi hasn't been actually fixed and I guess it won't be fixed until 2050 at least. <laughs> this is America. Spaghetti. And the last one, which is the Raiden performance metrics and logging features may <laughs> intermittently report extremely high and incorrect memory clock values. Okay, this is the, actually the last, the, uh, the last problem that we have, the last known issue, but it seems to be still known as an issue and not fixed. But well, it could be worse. The AMD drivers have been constantly getting better and better after each update at least normally or at least in the recommended drivers the recommended drivers have been better and better at each update okay so that's a pretty nice thing and well as for my experience with these drivers they are pretty fine no black screens no blue screens and in my opinion the the temperatures decreased a bit at least with my 6800 of course the performance is more or less the same or in some cases even better with the 21.10.2 compared to the 21.10.1 um, the power draw is also okay so overall in my experience till now of course the 21.10.2 drivers are even better than the 21.10.1 which is great because the 21.10.1 were already pretty nice yeah and yeah guys, basically that's it, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. And let's now go to the part that you want to see, the driver comparisons uh, in between the 21.10.1 and 21.10.2. <laughs> now with the RX 580 and the usual RX 6800, okay? See you in the next video guys. poster that leads to the real world we all feel safe in that room but sometimes sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster and the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw I'm here why did you bring me here?